Assalamu alaikum friends in this video tutorial i am going to write a php script to receive this contact form to my email address and at the same time this will send a confirmation email to client must watch this video till the end for complete understanding so guys let's start I have hosted this contact form in a live web hosting server under this domain hmablogs.com because PHP is a server side language. Now I open my code editor and to execute PHP script I have connected my code editor with the live web hosting server to run PHP code. These are my project files which are remotely editable this is the HTML code of contact form and this is the CS code and this is the sendmail.php file first of all let's add our PHP file HTML code to do that PHP include statement is used to add PHP file with HTML this is the PHP file and here I am going to write my PHP script to receive contact form in email first of all start with if statement and inside if statement write is set function is set function will check if the user has submitted the form and press the submit button let's copy the name attribute of the button tag and paste it inside the dollar underscore post write the dollar mail to variable this is my email address where I want to receive the contact form next we want to get the form data from client this is the form and this is the data we want to get from the customer first of all the name variable and we want to get the name of the customer let's copy the name attribute of the name input and copy it here this is for to get the name of the customer getting customer name next we want to get the customer email address getting customer email and the variable of it is email or from email this is the client email address next we want to get the phone number of the client write the phone variable and dollar underscore post this is the phone attribute tell getting the customer phone number next we want to get the subject line from the customer let's write the subject variable and dollar underscore post and the attribute is valued subject getting subject line from customer next subject to this subject is the subject of confirmation email message words submitted successfully you can write any subject here this is for customer confirmation 
next we want to write the email body this is the email I receive message variable first I want to show the client name this is dot dollar name this is the name client will input backslash n is used for line break dot next phone number the second line will show the phone number of the client dot backslash n for double line break dot client message in the third line the message of client will be show dollar underscore post and here is the attribute value is message copy this value here and this is the message for client this is the email message for client confirmation this variable is message to dear name client name dot backslash n line break dot thank you for contacting us we will get back to you shortly dot double line break dot you submitted the following message we want to confirm the client that you have submitted the following message in the contact form here copy the message attribute backslash n for double line break dot at the end you can write your reference here regards HMA web design next let's write the email headers first it ha headers headers variable equals to from email this header variable is for my email address and this will show the from email which is the client email address this headers will show the client email address in my email next is headers to variable and this variable include my email address which is mail to variable this email will receive to customer as a client confirmation email next let's write the php mailer function we need to write the two mail function first mail function the mail function include four at four parameters first parameter is email address where this email will be received second is subject third is message and four is headers this email will send to my email address the second mail function will be for confirmation email for client first, first parameter is from email which is the client email second parameter is subject to third is message to and four is headers to this email will send to client as a confirmation email let's save the output of first email in the result one variable and the output of the second email is the result to variable next 
we are checking that if the emails has been sent successfully let's write the if condition the condition is result 1 and result 2 if the result of the both emails are true means both emails are sent successfully then this is the success message if the emails are sent successfully the message was sent successfully else otherwise the email was not sent then this message will be shown I have also write the failed and success variable in HTML code sorry message what not sent try again later now let's refresh this is problem I forget the curly bracket here let's write the curly bracket and the code inside the if condition will only run if when user click on the submit button let's refresh again let's press submit button you can know that this is the error because we have not put any data before let's put the data in the form quickly and press the submit button again you can see that message was sent successfully now let's check the email this is my email address let's refresh the email this is the client email address where confirmation email will be sent let's refresh you can see that the email have been received in my email address you can see the time first is client name second is phone number third is the email message and no the confirmation email has also received this is the confirmation email sent to client this is the body of the email